Hi there, my name is Jason Perkins. I'd like to welcome you to another edition of the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. In this series, I provide helpful information about Georgia Workers' Compensation Law and some of the benefits available under it. Today, I'm going to talk to you about whether Georgia Workers' Compensation Law covers pre-existing conditions. But before we get into that, be sure and be on the lookout for my next video about whether Georgia Workers' Compensation Law covers knee replacement surgery. Now let's jump into the pre-existing conditions. First of all, what is a pre-existing condition? Basically, it's a medical condition that you have before you suffer your injury at work. So it might be a back problem or a knee problem or a shoulder problem, but it's already there before you got hurt. Now, sometimes you know about this condition and you've got treatment for it in the past. Sometimes you have it, but you don't know about it yet. Um, so does Georgia workers' compensation law cover pre-existing conditions? Well, Technically, it doesn't cover the pre-existing condition. However, it does cover aggravations of pre-existing conditions. What does that mean? Well, even if you have a back injury before and you suffer an injury at work to your back that makes that back injury worse, it, the aggravation of your pre-existing condition, the back injury, is covered by Georgia Workers' Compensation Law. So what's the difference between covering the aggravation and covering the pre-existing condition itself? It comes down to that the insurance company is not responsible for the pre-existing condition, but they're responsible for whatever worsening was caused by the injury at work. So if your back injury before wasn't causing you needing any medical treatment, and now because you suffer the injury at work, it gets worse and you need medical treatment, they're probably going to be responsible for that medical treatment. Also, if the aggravation of the pre-existing condition causes you to come out of work where you were able to work before, you know, the insurance company is probably going to have to pay you temporary total disability benefits, which is Georgia's version of wage loss benefits in a workers' compensation case, while you're out of work because of that aggravation. The big difference is to covering the pre-existing condition itself and covering the aggravation is that the insurance company can get off the hook for paying you for that condition if they can prove that your aggravation resolves. So if you had a pre-existing back condition or a pre-existing condition in another part of your body and the insurance company, after you suffered an injury at work, was able to prove that you got back to what's called baseline or basically where you were before your injury at work, then usually they can get off the hook in your workers' compensation case. However, that's often difficult for them to prove, um, and it's basically going to usually come down to a question of what your workers' compensation doctor says about whether you're still suffering from the aggravation of the pre-existing condition or whether you've returned to baseline. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or liking it. Um, and be on the lookout for future videos from me. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. It's Perkins Stuttered Workers' Compensation on YouTube. Um, if you'd like to find out more information or you've got questions for me, you can reach out to me through our website for a free consultation at www.perkinsstuttered.com. Thanks for watching today, and best of luck to you as you recover from your injury.